to our first run through chat of the year with the wonderful Jess. Hi, I'm Ella. Woohoo! We are back, we are back in action. We've had lots and lots of events over the last so week. Nice. So, so, so busy. Um, we were over at um, Victoria Park on the Sunday, Battersea Half on the Saturday. We also had Tatton up in the north. Mm -hmm. And then we also had our Olympic Chase the Moon on Wednesday. So, yeah. very busy. Um, last week actually. Mm, yeah, we've had plenty of you coming over doing your first and grabbing loads of PBs, starting the year on a high. So we did want to celebrate all of you uh, on our board today across the events and I think we're going to start with Mrs. Sorry. Vaughan. Um, so she did her first 10k race distance and it was a PB. So it was a PB on her distance so she was the first time she'd raced a 10k and she got an hour and two minutes at Victoria Park. So well done Mrs. Vaughan. Nice work. Next up, we had Kate post about Tony. So I was just trying to have a little nosy at who it was. So Tony ran uh, with us at Olympic Park on Wednesday, and it was it was his first 10k race as well. Although he got the PB as he had ran the distance before, but just not in a race setting. So he was super happy with that. Uh, Kate was pleased, and also their cute dog, which you'll see here, Sasha, also were very pleased at how Tony did. So we just wanted to give you a massive round of applause. Oh, We've also got Josh, who is, was on the comeback from an injury. So seven weeks recovery from a ligament tear, and he Ooh. did Tatton 10K. Sounds nasty, but well done for the big comeback, Josh. Yeah. Well done on a, doing a 10K, it's very impressive. Yeah, seven weeks. I feel like that's, that's no time, but yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you had a good one. So massive well done, and hopefully you're now back in action. Yeah. Well Last but not least, we have the wonderful John. I actually spoke to you on Saturday for the Battersea Half. And uh, I saw you at the end and you were super elated with your time as you got a brand spanking new PB after 32 years. You got a 138 something you said in 1991 and you came back on Saturday and smashed it with a 136.54. I don't know you wanted a little mention but I wanted to also just mention because you were super happy on the day and you were really proud and oh my god it's just a massive inspiration to us all that after all that time you can still grab your PB. We'll be chasing PBs till we're 100. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that is it. So inspiration for everyone out there. So the wonderful John, he did it 32 years later. So massive well done. And we'll see you again soon, I'm sure. Well done. Amazing, well done everyone. That's great. Um, so we've, not, we've got another busy week ahead as well. So no events in the north, but we have got lots in the south. So on Saturday, we'll be at Dorney Lake. For not just a run but also a duathlon, mm -hmm. very busy. Um, and on Saturday as well, we'll be at Greenwich Park for the 5 and 10k. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you those medals now. Mm -hmm. This one is for Dorney Lake, very snazzy medal. And for Greenwich, we have got a lovely blue medal here. If you did defer from our pre Christmas Greenwich, don't worry, you can still grab one of our Christmas medals. Okay. We've still got these here ready for you on Saturday if you wanted to grab one of those instead. And last but not least, we've got Richmond Park on Sunday. A lovely wooden deer medal. I always love the Richmond medal. Oh, They're yes. so nice, aren't they? Lovely it's to... very fitting for the park as we, yeah, we want to keep everything a little bit more sustainable. So we've got those wooden medals. Do let us know what you think of those wooden medals. It'd be good to have them across all of our sort of royal parks, our trail events and things like that. Um, also, do let us know if you are racing with us, pop it in the comments below. Do let us know, give us a wave if you are here. We've got the wonderful Jess there at the weekend, yeah. so she'll be there to say hi. Also, let her know if you do grab any PBs, or if it is a first, maybe you'll be on the board next week. Definitely, we'd love, to come and, we'd love you to come over and chat to us, so come and let us know how you did in the day. Yeah, give us a tag at runthroughuk or hashtag runthroughuk, and we'll be seeing you on Instagram very shortly. But of course, we're going to finish off with a wonderful quote. And do you know what? I thought it was a brand new year and also got a new book from the wonderful Lucy. So we're going to go for some brand new quotes as we were sort of exhausting the other book. Um, and we came across this one and I thought it would be a great one to start the year with. There will be obstacles. There will be doubters. There will be mistakes. But with hard work, there are no limits. So just going to repeat that very, very quickly. There will be obstacles, there will be doubters, there will be mistakes, but with hard work, there are no limits. Speaks Aww. for itself, really. That's great. 
So yeah, no limits, just keep moving forward, get out there and do what you can. And that's it, I think. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you again next week. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.